Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. It's Michelle. It is the crack of mm -mm -mm. And I'm still up because I did a lot of experimenting tonight. And I'm gonna be doing a shadow pearl pour. And I'm gonna put the colors down first and then flood. And then I might add some color afterwards. But I did all of these colors, all of them, with some red dye. Um, I have aquamarine and indigo and I use yellow but it's way up there so I'm not going on my ladder to get it down and I'm going to introduce my colors. We have Soho Urban Artist in Mineral Blue. Love that color. And we have Amsterdam uh, Greenish Blue mixed with Glisten from TLP. And I love that combination. And we also have eye candy in, oh God, can you, can you figure out how to pronounce that? Cause I can't, but uh, Amadori, Aomadori, Amadori, but it is a color shift. Oh, you can't really tell because I've got paint all over it, but it's a, um, it's a blue shifting to purple, shifting to green, I think it's beautiful. And I have a coupon code in the description for 10% off. Um, yeah, bugs are still here. We have golden uh, quinacridone magenta, very used container. And I'm putting everything away as we, we go here. I also have modern masters in iridescent gold. And I have atelier. These are new for me. I've actually used them once, I think. This is pastel lemon, but I wanted to warm it up a little bit, so I put some Cronacadone and Glaze of Gold in it. And this is pastel Arctic Blue. And all of these colors have a, a smidge of, like a, a pipette full of um, uh, Brit dye. So I wanted to get them to meld together. So we're working on a, a Master's Touch uh, classic collection. It is a level two gallery wrapped canvas and I am going to get started. Did I miss any colors? No, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm, I want some negative space, but I am going to put, let me try. I also, I have, getting the bug off. Um, I did my edges with Artist Loft um, do, 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 soft body acrylic. You know what? I think they're coming back with the flow acrylic. I'm not sure, but I think I saw it. I think I saw flow acrylic. And I will put the, um, in the description my recipe for my pearl pour. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. We need 12.5 uh, ounces and we're going to do it. Whoa, Wilbur. Shoot, I, almost, I hate when I almost knock something over. I'm trying to figure out which color to put first. I want to start at the top or the bottom. I think I'll start at the top. And this is that yellow. Very pretty color. And well, I. I fudged with it a bit, so. And some of the gold. And then we're going to go with, ah, oh, yes, magenta. I love magenta next to gold. Then we're going to go with the mineral blue. Whoa, Wilbur. And this is that lovely um, color from Eye Candy, Amadora or whatever. And then we have some of the Arctic blue from Atelier. Now, I really do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this down here. This is the Glisten mixed with... It almost looks like... It almost looks like Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. 
but it isn't. I do like this color next to that one too. So I hope everybody's out of the snow right now. It's been awful. I've been watching it on the news. You know, I was thinking it might not be a bad idea for if you guys want to come down here to visit and do some art. Um, I could do some lessons and um, like kind of a bed and breakfast thing. So let me know what you think. I mean, that might be something interesting to do. I always love meeting you guys. I've met so many of, well, I've met quite a few of you. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. like a landscape but is that a volcano I'm not sure <laughs> I'm gonna give it a little torch and start blowing with my mouth a little bit
Hey guys, it's, I'm back. Um, did you like hear me jumping up and down about this piece that I just did? Now I was going to scrape all of this off and oh, there's nothing there. I got to get something there. Um, so I did, I've done this once before and it turned out kind of cool. Basically, I'm just going to do a dip with the Yeah, this needs a little bit more coverage. And let's put, oh, this is all done. Oh, I don't want to screw up my, <laughs> my painting. Oh my God. It is truly a volcano. Anyhow, I'm going to try and dip this. If it, I don't really care for this piece. It's It got too squiggly. And what I did was I just took a sandpaper block and I just sanded it down a little bit. And I'm going to actually spray the back of it to make it nice and tough again. Ooh, really absorbent. I don't know how many times this canvas has had a new life, but uh, here we go. Oh, geez, it doesn't look like it's, you know what, I'm just gonna do this. Our neighbor. There's a lot of paint in the center. We'll see how it turns out. I have no idea. But I don't like to waste paint and it's kind of cool color, so I'm gonna go for it. Oh, you know what? I need a little bit more up here. You kind of have to make sure there's enough down to make contact. So here we go. Oh boy. All right. The mother of all dips. Oh, it's squishing out. So I know I've got good contact. I just gotta make sure I don't hit that other canvas. Okay, I'm gonna lift straight up. Oh. <gasps> Ooh la la. Holy crap, I could do another one. I'm going to hit it with the torch. like it. I love it actually. And it's going to develop a little bit more too. And it doesn't have enough on here. Let me grab some. Oh, geez. Gotta be careful. That piece I just finished. Masterpiece. I'm sorry. I don't mean to brag, but I just, I was amazed that it turned out like a volcano. So... Yeah, pretty darn cool. All right, I'm gonna put this one up away. Oh, geez, look what I just did to it. Ugh, fudge. See what happens when you try to fix it. Guys, I am dead serious about doing like a bed and breakfast here. Um, I'll have to come up with a, a price point, but basically, if you can get yourself here, you got a place to stay. You don't have to stay in a hotel. There's lots of things to do around here. Um, great restaurants, beach, 
pool in my backyard. It's 51 degrees right now. And um, yeah, and art classes included. So um, let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. And uh, be a cheap vacation. It really would. I don't, I wouldn't charge an arm and a leg. But I'd charge something. <laughs> I'm worth a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'm just doing this. This is probably easier. So I don't mess up the composition. And then I'm going to clean it up. All right, I'll be back in a few. All right, guys. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> you seasick yet? Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I really was jumping up and down when I saw what was happening here. It's just, I'm so happy with this. had a few pigments in this time so oh I see some right here oh moth oh no yeah like right there they're faint but they're there another bug it is all right I gotta <laughs> gotta cover this baby up pretty soon I'm loving all the colors. Very cool. And this is like one of my favorite spots right there where that gradient is just oh, pretty darn happy. And I did a little fudging around right here, which kind of really added to the piece, I think. And uh, this was just natural. I did a few little finger dips there, but woo-hoo, ooh-la-la. La. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. And um, I think this is going to be my New Year's Eve's Eve um, painting. I might be doing something else for New Year's Eve. And don't forget to watch Karen Live on New Year's Eve Saturday. <laughs> Just a little plug for you there, Karen. I'll be there. <laughs> Take care, guys.